So good morning. I'm going to attempt to make a time lapse of the summer Milky Way using my barn door tracker. Fail completely, but use my best shots to make a static image that shows the beauty of the summer Milky Way. So let's get on with the video and I will show you how not to make a time lapse of the summer Milky Way. Enjoy. So tonight we're going to set up the portable star tracker under these beautiful dark Somerset skies and use the star tracker to make a time lapse of the summer Milky Way. So it's a beautiful summer's evening, there's a few bats flying around, the crescent moon's just starting to set, the sky's still, still pretty blue. And that was such a change from the weather we had when we drove up, it was pouring it down, you could hardly see the road, and remember this is in the middle of summer. that the skies eventually cleared a few days later and we actually had some sunshine. I set up my homemade parallelogram with the binocular mount, sorry with the binoculars mounted on top and I found my eyepiece tray so I've now got somewhere to put my cup of tea when I'm out observing. And in addition to the binocular mount I've got my barn door tracker, my homemade 3D printed barn door tracker and this is what I want to use to capture the summer Milky Way from these dark skies. So there's something really lovely about this time of day. The sky is still blue, first few stars are just coming out now. And I'm so excited we've had a week of such awful weather. That tonight's going to be the night. It's very damp. I haven't got any dew heaters. So I'm just hoping the dew's not too bad. But we'll give it a go. So I've got my tripod set up. What I've got to do next is polar align on Polaris. And then you, you're sitting on top of that tripod on the DSLR. I'm going to take you off that tripod and put you on here. And then you will be pointed on the ball head. So while the camera is clicking away, I'm also set up for some visual astronomy as well. And I've got a few objects I want to observe. And that's the beauty of, of course, having the camera on the tracker, is that then frees your time up to then do some real astronomy. But alas, it wasn't to be. The sky's never really cleared. We had sucker holes, good enough to look at Jupiter and scan the Milky Way, but little more than that. And after an hour or so, I decided to pack up. The cloud was just getting thicker and thicker. But a few days later we did have some more sunshine, some more clear skies, so I set up again. And this time we had these beautiful clear skies all the way down to the horizon. But the damp and the humidity, um, forgetting my dew heater, really did come back to bite me. As you can see the lens just clouded over, so really frustrating. So I've just had to tear everything down quite quickly. The weather's suddenly changed. We've gone from clear lovely clear skies, the Milky Way visible all the way down to the south into Sagittarius to suddenly complete overcast, the winds all picked up, everything was covered in dew anyway and I haven't got my dew heaters wet, so the poor old lens was all fogged over anyway but I think I've got enough shots to process. Mm. So we've had two attempts to make a time lapse of the Milky Way, first one clouded over and the second one clouded over, so welcome to UK astronomy. So although my time lapse failed, I put the best images, the best static images into Sequitur, stack the best ones together, quick levels and masking and produce what, for me anyway, what I think is, is quite a pleasing image of the summer Milky Way under those dark Somerset skies. So not all was wasted. I didn't get my time lapse, but I did get quite a nice Milky Way shot. Plus I know that my tracker that I built a few weeks ago actually works and can track the stars, albeit with a wide angle lens. And I had a great time while this was all going on, observing with my binoculars exploring that summer Milky Way. So next time, got a note to myself, don't forget your dew heater and we don't waste those all too rare clear skies. As always, please do subscribe and I'll look forward to bringing you more videos as we explore the night sky.